Solving an equation means... <clears throat> now, I wonder... <laughs> what would you put into this, by the way? I wonder if I've given you enough like clues to fit into all the different spots. Solving equation means... So, by the way, here are some clues for you. These are, these are equations right here that you can solve, right? How would you how would you word like what are you trying to do if I say to you can you solve that what are you going to choose say it again Jess yes. that's loud mm. oh um no I was just looking at the answer yeah yeah can you tell me what the answer is to this d equals to seven plus three okay so I'm going to jot this down we're all going to get to there in a second okay just pause for a minute why would we do this what's the point of doing this and the answer is what we're trying to do is we're trying to find values right. Specifically, this letter, this pronoun in there, we don't know what it's equal to, but if we shift things around, we can find its value. So, solving equation means finding values for them. What did we say they were called again? Pronumerals. This is the language of algebra, right? And then this part is a bit colloquial. But we're looking for values that will make the equation work or true. Now, the way we get there, as you'll see in a second, is we want to make it as easy as possible. We want to simplify things. That's part of why all of these skills are useful. Okay? But just colloquially, the way I say it is, we want to find values that make the equation work. Or, and here's the technical math Simplify. Way to like, uh, almost. Almost. Oh. It is an S word. So easy. Easy I, oops, sorry. I could, would help if I could spell properly. The word I'm looking for is satisfied. Right? So, I want to value... Well, I did say it was a technical way of saying it, literally. That satisfied the equation, right? So you will see, as we get to this answer in a second, what is the next value? Like, what, what's the next line, Lala? All right. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10, right? Okay, now, why is 10 significant to this? It satisfies this. This is trying to get at something. It's like, if I put 10 in there, it works. It's true. It's valid. Okay? Whereas you put any other number in, forget it. Okay? So therefore, the way we go through it is by all of these kinds of things we've seen before. You might have to expand some brackets. You might have to collect some like terms. But that's where you're trying to get to. That's the last square on the board. Okay. So this is a simple equation. Have a look at this one. It's only a little bit more complicated. What could we do to both sides that would get us something simpler than that line there? Any suggestions? Change sides. Say it again. again. Uh, I was going to say move the one. Okay, first. so I can Seven. get this one over here. The way I'm going to articulate that is I'm going to add plus one to both sides. Yeah, I'm going to add one to both sides. So in fact, you can even put plus one, plus one. The reason why that's helpful is because an equation is about balance, right? It's two things that are exactly the same. So if you're going to do something on one side, you better do it to the other, right? Okay, so I get left with 3c over here and 21. Then you can now what? Then you can the 3 and 21 work. Okay, good. It fits, right? I can, now again, just like I did here, I want to do something to both sides. Divide by 3. I'm going to divide by this number, right? Again, that, that number has a name. What's it called? The number at the front of a program starts with C. Coefficient. Coefficient, nailed it, right? So if I divide by the coefficient, it all comes out. So I just get left with C on the left and on the right. Seven. Thank you. Okay, again, last square on the board. Now you see, all we're doing here, right, is we're trying to corner this pronoun rule, get him on his own in a dark alley, and then beat him to a pulp, right? Now, we did two steps, yeah? Two steps. Um, we added one, we divided by three. Does it matter which one we do first? Could I have done it the other way around? Would it matter? Yeah. Oh. No. Yes. 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 No. Taking cues was better. Why don't we try it? Remember, and um, maybe if you could put this on the right hand side with me and we'll do this in parallel, right? First we added one, then we divided by three. Let's just see what happens if we do it the other way. Okay? This is the first line I started here in black. I'm going to divide by three first. And divide by three. So I get this 3c minus 1 over 3 equals 20. Is this, does this do anything? Does this help? Yeah. Well, actually, yeah. I think it kind of does because remember, like, what do we say? We're trying to get this. We're trying to corner the C on his own, right? And this does, sure enough, get rid of that three that's attached to it, the coefficient, right? In fact, I'll get C take away what? One third. Yeah, third, because there's one over three, and then what's twenty over three? Hmm. Oh. That's I think that's six and how many thirds? 
Two six point one? recurring six. Yeah, six point six six six. Yeah. That's six and two thirds. Can I? What would I do from here? You add the third. Yeah, good. I'm not gonna add one anymore, am I? Because I divide everything by three. So instead of one, I add a third. You still get the answer. Oh, yeah. Now, now, so very valid point. Which would you prefer? The first one. I prefer the first one, right? That's why we thought of it. Why did it make sense? Why was it more? Efficient. So you can still work in fractions. fractions. Okay, we avoided fractions, right? No. So you can see there's many different paths through this, but pick one that's smarter, right? One that's quicker. 